Tony appeared on the show almost 10 years ago when her 13-year-old son at the time began transitioning to a girl. Uh, her story became the subject of a controversial debate. Should parents stop their child from transitioning or support it? Here's what happened. At the age of two, my son wanted to dress in princess outfits. At the age of four, he asked me when his penis was going to fall off and that he was going to be a big girl. I went to the pediatrician. I said, why does he still think he's going to be a girl? And that's when she handed me paperwork about gender identity disorder. How did you make the decision to support him transitioning from male to female versus saying, no, this is wrong and he needs therapy. He didn't give me a choice. He didn't really say, can I do this? He just said, this is what I have to do to live. My mom thinks I'm a princess because I have everything. Like, I want everything. This is one of my favorite skirts. How did dad deal with the boys wanting to be female? He dealt with it like I did. The child was adamant this is what he wanted, and we tried to do everything unisex. This is different from what we would do at our clinic. We would involve the father more. We would discourage the feminine interests, really build up his boy identity, make him feel good as a boy, and get mother out of her over-enmeshment with the boy. I wasn't enmeshed with him. So I really think your theory sucks. Ash is now 23 years old, and she says she is the happiest uh, she's ever been, but it's been a long haul. Take a look. The other guest on the last show tried to insinuate that my over-involvement with Ash was the problem. We see this over-involved relationship with the mother. Those men were absolutely out of line. Up to the age of 11, this child walked out of my house in boys' clothing. I tried baseball, I tried t-ball, I tried soccer. She was picking daisies. It has hearts on it, I love hearts. There's this feeling I get when I, my hair is all done up and my makeup's all done. It feels like just bliss. And if I don't get that, I know I'm doing something wrong. Ash started hormone blockers at the age of 14. We learned when Ash was 16 that she had an autoimmune illness. Ash lost her fine motor skills, she couldn't write, she couldn't walk in a straight line. Due to the autoimmune illnesses, they had to stop the hormone therapy. I had to live as a man after I stopped taking the hormones. That was a year and a half of my own personal hell. She started cutting herself. It was devastating. I have gone through so many battles when it comes to my body, my gender. I decided I am gonna make it happen on my own, with or without the hormones given. I started wearing corset trainers. I started playing with my weight, my hair, makeup. Found my certain niche and I just stuck with it. I'm happy. I'm living my best life. And now I look at myself and I'm very proud of that. So how are you? Good. 23 yeah. now, not yeah. 14 anymore. <laughs> no, that's right. Tell me how things have been. I, I know you've had the problem with the autoimmune Hectic. and all. Hectic. <laughs> I feel happy and beautiful, and I could not be more proud of who I am today. I think I have just as much right as anybody else in this room to do and say and act however I want and be who I am today. Mm -hmm. and Thank you. Tony, <laughs> you have... You have two other children, you have two other boys. I do, I do. There was no question in terms of gender identity with never, them at all. No, and there was never any question with Ash either. It was very evident. Your story is oh, yeah. identical. Mm -hmm. There was never the kind of animosity or anger that I see right here. It's, it's really concerning. I was being respectful of letting him talk. But I, I am too. gonna tell you the way you present yourself. Your eyes say it all. The anger that you have spewing out of you, it's very true. toxic. No, but you it's need just to learn animosity to towards her.